Okay, so this clip is just to show people what my hair looks like. Um, but before I actually start discussing why I no longer straighten my hair um, as frequently as I used to, I do want to just point out that I do still straighten my hair. I don't feel like I made that clear. I just do it one or two times a year. But in the past, I used to do it every month. So this is just me explaining why I no longer straighten my hair every month. As well as this is a very talkative video, so I will be putting timestamps in the description for anybody who doesn't want to hear me ramble on within the first three minutes of the video. Okay, so for this video, I am just going to be giving a few reasons as to why I am no longer a straight hair natural. Um, I feel like I'm not in focus. Yes, a straight hair natural. I don't really understand all of the terms within the natural hair community but I'll, I'll give an idea as to how i came to that term um well i came to that term based off of youtube but i was not always familiar with the term so natural and are you are you natural when somebody first asked me that question i didn't know what the hell they were talking about i'm like um well no this isn't my hair straight out the shower like i, I blow dried it straightened it so you know that's how i came to this this look and they were like, well, no, like, did you relax it or did you put any type of chemicals in it? I'm like, oh, well, no, no, I haven't done that ever. But I don't know. I always thought natural to be just like your natural texture with nothing done to it. Um, so I learned something new and I think it varies for different people. I'm not here to police the words, call it what you want. Um, but the term straight hair natural was weird to me, too, because I was just like, I don't know, natural's natural. So... I don't know. I don't really know how to navigate all the terms, but that is something that I saw. So that is how I'm going to use, that's what I'm going to use to describe what I'm talking about. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is also because I've recently posted a lot of straight hair videos. Um, I'm a person who makes videos and I sit on them and then I just don't post them because I'm just weird like that. I just refuse to post them. <laughs> Got a little hot. But um, yes, yeah, so I make all these videos and I don't post them whether it be depression or I'm just over it or I don't have the time or I just lost interest. Like I just didn't post it. But recently I just kind of did a video dump of some of the footage that I've been holding on to for a while and it's been around my straight hair. So a lot of one of the questions that I get a lot is how many times do you straighten your hair how often do you do it? how often do you trim so for me I just want to give people a better idea as to how often I straighten my hair and why I don't straighten it as often anymore I used to straighten my hair all the time so that's just kind of why I'm making the video now a little background on my straight hair so through middle school all the way up into college I mainly wore my hair straight middle school and high school straight straight like I just I only wore my hair straight um college I started to dibble and dabble a little bit more but I'll explain that a little bit later so from middle school to high school I was always getting my hair straightened middle school I was getting it done professionally I mean all I was doing was slapping a whole bunch of grease in my hair and putting a hell of heat on it um but high school is where I started to do it myself um and I was just that kid that felt like that was the only way to be presentable or decent was to have straight hair just because it was more manageable and I was able to contain it because I do have a lot of hair. It's thick, it's big, it's noticeable. So I don't like attention, not at that age, not at this age. I'm just a very kind of chill individual and I don't really seek attention. I'm not trying to get people to notice me or to look at me. It's just not me. So I, straight hair was the way to minimize some of those interactions now people still did approach me because they thought that i had long hair in my opinion i don't think it was long being that i'm able to achieve what i have achieved with the length that i have now that's not long to me it wasn't long to me then but people would tell me it was long and hey i was just like okay thanks you know okay i started to do it on my own in high school and that's when I had my own flat iron. I'm just straight. Well, actually I didn't. I was borrowing my sister's, I think. But I was straightening my hair. Now, during this time, I was straightening my hair every month. And then at some point, I started to straighten it every two weeks. In middle school, I didn't do it as often because I had to get it done professionally. So it'd be a month, maybe two months. Like, it used to stretch. Uh, or it used to stretch it. But then when I went to college, that is where I felt like a shift happened. I've still maintained like straight hair during that time but I went to college in Baltimore Maryland so there are just quite a few differences that stood out to me so first I would say how black women wore their hair out there was different from how black women wear their hair in California um, I just noticed that I felt like they embraced it more 
in that area they did different styles styles that i didn't see before styles that i didn't know of never heard of um and it just intrigued you like it's like well i didn't even know that i could do that that looks cute like and it's it's decent it's not you know it's something that i feel like i would be able to wear if i know how to do it um so that's where i feel like the changes started to happen because up until that point up until college i never really done much to my hair like elementary school my mom used to braid it and do twists and all of that but as for like adding hair or trying different styles with different types of hair i never did that i only had i think i had singles as in like braids in my hair twice before that that was the only time i ever had added hair to my hair and in college it's still i could count on one hand how many times i added hair to my hair but I started to experiment more with like Marley twists, faux locks, different things like that. Yeah, that's where it started to happen. But I think one of the main things that that showed me was that straight hair wasn't the only way to be presentable. And there was nothing wrong with embracing how your hair was. So that was something that started to like plant a seed in my head. Like, okay, maybe I'm gonna try something different. I started to watch more YouTube videos. It was a struggle. I think the process was a little slower just because when you begin to try and do more with just your regular hair you have to learn it and sometimes you can be discouraged when something doesn't work on the first time so that was something I was struggling with but also one thing that caused me to just not really want to wear it straight as much anymore was uh, I would say heat damage heat damage was something that I was experiencing but I didn't understand so I'll give an example my friend she would do braid outs on her hair and we have different hair completely. Um, and I think at the time she was like text lax and all that type of stuff. I didn't even know what that was. Um, but she would do braid outs on her hair and it would look nice. And I would try to do the same type of braid out, like same size braids and everything. And I just didn't realize that we had different kind of hair, but also my ends, the ends of my hair was an issue because it was damaged. Now I know people say there's heat trained and heat damaged. Um, to me, I feel like they're one and the same. I just think it's the level of damage that you have. It's not like super straight, still got some weight, but that's not the neck. Your texture at this point is altered due to the heat. Um, but that's just my opinion. Everybody got their own opinion about it or facts, whatever. Y'all can argue about that on your own time. But for me, it was damage. Damage is, jam damage, is damage in my opinion. So that is what I was experiencing. Um, so that is when I started to realize that I think my hair is heat damaged and I'm wondering where it's coming from, the damn heat. So <laughs> that was one of the reasons why I didn't want to straighten my hair as much anymore. Um, as well as I was obsessed with my split ends. I would literally take my hair and just be looking at it all day, being picking and cutting and cutting and picking all day to where my eyes hurt because I'm like my hair wasn't super long so where I could just hold it out clear like in front of me I was kind of like and my eyes would get like sore so that was annoying having all those little pieces annoying um I didn't like that it just was irritating um so that was another reason the picking at my ends the heat damage um and then me just kind of leaning towards embracing my hair in all of its states, blow dried, straightened, uh, natural, wet, whatever. Um, those are a few things as to why I stopped wearing it straight. Also, when I did straighten it less, I noticed that I was, I felt like I was retaining more length in a sense. Now, when my hair was straightened, I used to cut it all the time. Every time that I straightened it, which was every month, I would cut something. So I was excessively cutting my hair just because one, the heat damage and the split ends and just I, f I love the the feel of a fresh cut so every time I would cut my hair or straighten my hair I would want that cut because the ends just felt great um but that was also taking away from my length so with me not straightening as, as much I would be less inclined to cut it because I didn't want to mess up the cut for when I wear my hair straight so I would wait until my hair was straight so I'm not cutting it as often and I'm not cutting as much so that was another thing and then also um, I think sometimes when your hair is straight at that point, I wasn't the best at it, but the smell, I didn't like my hair smelling, whether that be it smelling burnt or we go somewhere like now, if I go to a casino and my hair is straight, that smell of cigarettes and whatever else casinos smell like would be stuck in my hair. I don't like that. When people smoke stuck in my hair, I just don't like the fact that it held on to it so much but if my hair is natural 
wet um i could wash it in the shower get rid of that scent i can now use a uh, dry shampoo but i wasn't all the way hip to it then um another reason why i feel like i just straightening it all the time wasn't helping the health of my hair and I wanted to put more effort into the health of my hair as well as um, try and see if I could get past a certain length because I felt like I was really like bra strap like mid back ish or approaching mid back for a long time. That was just like the, the place that it always rested. So I didn't want to do that anymore. I wanted to try and see if I could go past that and see what type of length or health I could obtain by not doing my hair straight all the time. Also, now that I haven't, been doing it all the time like straightening it all the time the straight hair gets old for me kind of quick so although as of now i really only straighten my hair about one to two times a year it is just oh i i can only i wear it for a month because if i'm like if i'm gonna put this heat on my hair i'm gonna get you know my full wear's worth if that makes sense um but I be over it. I be over it. it gets tangled um, at the back of my head because it rubs up on my clothing. It gets tangled. Um, I have to constantly come out, uh, and I'm constantly trying to make sure that I'm working like the oils through. And after a certain point, I just be over it. I do like the fact that I could just get up and go for the most part. Yeah, I comb it out. I put in a ponytail. It's manageable. I can go without putting too much effort into it. But Sorry, my nose always itches when I get on camera for what a reason. I don't know. Um, but yeah. So there are like pros and cons to it, but I just wanted to share why I don't do it as often. I just don't find it to be as beneficial as me wearing my hair in these different states because I can in these different states. I don't find it to be as beneficial um for me compared to when I wear my hair wet or if I'm doing like these kind of styles, I'm able to maintain it to like a different level i can do my deep conditioners i can do my uh different hair treatments and do it on a more consistent basis like i don't have to wait once every month so and another thing i want to say is that i feel like i was always in my hair in a sense which added to the breakage whereas with my hair like this i'm in my hair but whenever i'm in my hair for the most part i'm doing i'm adding to it i'm doing some sort of treatment i'm not just ripping it out with a comb having all this shed hair everywhere that is one thing also i would like to point out another reason why i don't wear my hair straightened as much is because of the shed hair i shed like a damn dog okay whether my hair is straight curly whatever but when my hair is straight i have to comb i have to comb it out so i'll be combing it out and it's just all these little pieces of hair everywhere whether that be from it breaking off from split ends um or from it just coming out it your hair sheds all all day every day but um sorry my nose my nose it just itches um but yeah that was one thing that i didn't like shed hair shed hair i did big pieces everywhere you know if there was hair on somebody food they blame me real quick i think just overall taking care of the health of my hair i didn't see it as beneficial or healthy for me to do it every month i feel like eventually i'll probably go back to that but i am glad that by me not doing my hair as much i'm able to embrace every stage of my hair whether it's wet blow dried air dried straightened what have you i can feel comfortable in any any state stage state whatever but yeah i just wanted to give a little insight share a little bit as to why i no longer straighten my hair every month throughout the whole year i was consistent i didn't miss a week i didn't miss a month i would keep it for a long time um but yeah those are just a few things hopefully i wasn't too much too much information but that is all that i have just wanted to give a little insight since that is my last straight hair video or the last video was my last straight hair video for a while um, i do have one more video but i don't think it's necessary to post it's like how i like to comb my hair when it's straightened but i don't really think that that's relevant so but yeah that's all that i have for this video so thank you for watching and